So, but anyway, one of the stories was about the creation or the last creation of this world after the flood, after the last flood they had. After the last flood, there was this guy, his name was Nanapush. But after the last flood, he came from the east and he brought life with him. He came from the east, he brought life with him. But there was uh, something going on between the sky people and the people of the uh, underneath the earth. There's our caverns and different places underneath the earth where they had, where they had different. Uh, I don't know what if you want to call them uh, different entities. You know, like um, for sure it would be one of them would be like the dinosaurs or something like that from long time ago. Now the dinosaurs are not ruled out because they find bones and they find different things. So, but anyway, they also had like sky things that were in the sky too. So they're all interconnected. And then they had the last, during the last flood, um, they sent this sky, the flood, flood came upon the world and they came over here. The last stop they made was on the Turtle Mountains. And they call it Mikinakwaching. That means Turtle Mountains. Not Mikinakwachu, that means one mountain. Mikinakwaching is many, many mountains. So when you, when you go by, you can see all the hills, all the hills. Not really mountains, but they call them turtle mountains. So there was this one person during the flood, um, the last flood, that um, <clears throat> that flooded the earth. Of course, a lot of things survived during the last flood because you cannot drown a fish, for instance. And you can't stop a bird from breathing air or flying in the wind. But there's a lot of people that were involved with that last flood, but this one person was Nanapush. So during the last flood, he wanted to keep people alive there were certain there were certain animals that wanted to help him and different things that wanted to help him so he asked these animals he called this animal well i don't know if it's an animal or not but it was what they call a big turtle so this big turtle came from the east this big turtle came and he came right here in this area this big turtle came and then <coughs> after that he called all the animals whatever animals that would come and help him he came here then they got on the turtle's back and also man came from the turtle's back and he helped create this world again of course Maybe he didn't create the world again. Maybe the world was already here. But maybe he created a lump of soil on this, where the flood was, so that the people could live and not be, not be drowned. So Nanapush called these animals to help him. And this Nanapush, he was part spirit and he was part, part man and part spirit. But you know, we are part man and part spirit too. But anyway, this Nana Push, he was, he was, he was, uh, his job that was given to him, but he was, he was kind of like a comic character for the Chippewa people. 
but he also, even though he had traits of comedy and all kinds of things, but he was responsible for creating the world all over again after the flood, after things happened. And so he got on the turtle's back. He called a big giant turtle. And you know, of course, who knows? I don't know. You know, they have these dinosaurs a long time ago. Yeah, there could have been a big giant turtle. Who knows? But that's the story that was passed on from a long time ago. And this, so this turtle came and all the animal jumped on his back and he, Nana Push tried to save this part of this earth right here that we call the Turtle Mountains. So he called them and this one animal dove down in water and it died, but Nanapush had the power to breed life back into different things. So he took that animal, and that animal had a piece of dirt. He put that on a turtle's back, and he started blowing that dirt, started getting bigger in some kind of supernatural way. But I believe a lot of these supernatural things will be explained someday. As a matter of fact, they're being explained right now by scientists and by different people. But anyway, they got on the turtle's back and the turtle gave up its life for the people right here on the Turtle Mountains. And this one guy, he was um, from, I think it was Red Lake or Fond du Lac or Red Lake. He was uh, part of the Grand Medicine Society for degree. His name was uh, George Abed. And he told me, he said, and this was like a long time ago. This was like in the 80s, early 80s when I went to talk to him. He told me, he said, you could still see that turtle, he said, on the Turtle Mountains if you look at it from, from the sky, from on top. At that time, they didn't have GPS. So I often wondered how he knew that. But anyway, now they do have GPS. And now when you look at the Turtle Mountains, you could, you could fairly see a turtle on its back sideways. And it came from the east and is going towards the west. And the old people a long time ago, we even have our names for it. The people around Belcourt here and people that I know don't, don't attribute anything to it. As a matter of fact, they don't even know the names. But we do. And that really surprised me that he would know that. I was really surprised. And um, anyway, the turtle is facing the west and his tail is towards the east of the Turtle Mountains. And the people around Dunseat area, of course, there's not very many people left, but there is my family and there's a few families left. A few of the full bud people that are left uh, there's very few of us know, know these things. And the, the turtle is head towards the west is called Ishtiquan Zutong. That means that's the head of the turtle. Uzu Tong is the tail of the turtle. And the heart of the turtle would be our people from the Dunseat area. We live in the heart of the turtle. So, you know, in Ute Zu Tong, that's the heart of the turtle. So then we have like these Indian names. So those three names comprise the 
mythology, if you want to call it, of the Turtle Mountains. Stikwan's Utang, Who's Utang, the tail, and Ute's Utang, that's the heart of the turtle. So anytime they used to talk about it a long time ago in the spiritual people, they knew what, what area they were talking about. That is an old story about the creation of the Turtle Mountains. It was not created because somebody's seen turtles here, no. It came from the east and it brought life from the east. And that life was carried here by Nanapush. Nanapush brought the life with him when he came here and he distributed that life to everybody who got on the turtle's back. He distributed that life. He saved them from drowning. Of course, he couldn't save, save the, the fishes and all that. They didn't need saving. He couldn't save the sky creatures. No, they didn't need saving. They could survive. But he saved a lot of the animals and the people that could not survive the flood. And that's the origin of the Turtle Mountains. <laughs>